We're happy to have with you um, Ya Feng Liu, who um, has a career in the solar PV industry that's also over a decade long. So, so he can really, he's a man really who can be said to truly know what PV technology is about. Uh, he has been working for a number of module manufacturers and is now the senior R&D director at Ryzen Energy. Um, Liu is also um, a committee member of IEC TC82, Working Group 2, and uh, works also as active in the China National Technolo Technical Comedy Committee for Standardization um, TC203. We are very happy to have you talk about the product status and prospects of large-scale high-power modules um, um, and um, let us know more about your Titan 600 watt plus module. Yafeng, the floor is yours. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, sorry for the uh, issues of my camera, so I will directly uh, talk, uh, uh, give the presentation by uh, audio. Okay, and my presentation will be the uh, topic about the press and product status and the uh, prospection of the largest sized high power module. And then also I'll give some introduction of the Titan 600 watt product. Okay, next page. Next page, sorry. Um, is somebody helping um, with the presentation or? Yeah, me is helping me with the presentation because my, uh, there are some issues with my Zoom. Okay, 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 okay. Um, Min? One second. There we go. Okay. Uh, and so my presentation will be three parts. Uh, the first part will be uh, uh, give some introduction about the large size scale module status and also the wafer status. And then I will introduce about the 600 Titan products and then give some pre uh, prospection of the future high power product uh, roadmap. Okay, next page. Uh, about the high power module uh, of, for the PV industry, now there are four uh, main uh, topics we are going to uh, development. The first one is the high power. Uh, the high power is always the uh, uh, prior, best priority of the of uh, our module development, and the second is uh, to decrease the module cost, increase the, including the material and the cell and also the module or the cost. And the, the, of course, the most important is to um, to reduce the total LCOE and then to get the uh, grid parity. But uh, uh, the most important and the most someone may forgot the high reliability. Uh, for all the development of to get the low LCOE, uh, high reliability is always we need to focus to keep everything and uh, every module with the high reliability in um, all the time. Okay, next page. Uh, to increase the uh, module power, there are two um, main topics uh, uh, for our all our module manufacturer to do. The first one is to increase the uh, optical uh, well, that go into go inside the module including several um, items. Uh, the first one, such as the uh, material light transmission of the modules, like the glass transmission EV and the PUE something like that, the transmission increased. And also the reflection of the glass reduced, the back sheet re reflection increase to all these uh, items can increase the light get to the cell. And also uh, we, there are some topics to uh, matching the cell and the module material next to reflective IQE of the material to match the cell and the module material to increase the, also can increase the light going to side, go inside the cell. And, the, and also there are some other uh, technologies like the LS, RF and the LCR can increase the, from the ribbon or the cell gap to go inside the module. And then all this technology can increase the module power. This technology we call it optical improvement. Okay, next page. And except the optical improvement, the another one important uh, technology is to reduce the electrical 
resistance of the inside of the module. Because as everyone know, uh, the cell inside of the module is, uh, is the uh, power generator, but also the, uh, the cell itself and also the material like the ribbon or something else is also an energy consumers. Uh, to reduce the resistance of the cell and uh, the other uh, ribbons are also the solar technology can increase the uh, module power by reducing the energy consumes inside, inside the module. There are, uh, there are some technology, uh, as everyone knows, such as the MBB, the half cut cells, all this technology to increase the, uh, or to reduce the uh, uh, resistance or inside the module. And also such as the half cell is to cut the, um, the cells and the, to reduce the current and the increase the uh, power. Next page. Uh, except the power, uh, the extended module itself, there are also some uh, other technology to increase the uh, LCOE because uh, um, the LCOE is what we want to uh, do um, at the final target to, to reduce LCOE. So uh, for the bifacial uh, module, the most uh, in, in famous one, that, is, uh, that, that technology will not increase the module power even uh, and the, the bifacial module to so only consider about the monofacial mono module and the bifacial module. The bifacial module will decrease the module power itself about uh, 10 watts. But for the LCOE, the bifacial module will give very uh, big uh, advantage to reduce the LCOE. That is why the bifacial module now is very popular in the uh, PV market. And uh, it's already, maybe this year will be set to 40% of the total module uh, shipment and uh, all, all, all our new technology we need to consider for so, visual solution. Next page. Uh, for the LCOEs, except the bifacial module, now we come to the uh, today's to topic, the large size of the cell module. Uh, as everyone knows, large size of the cell itself, it won't increase the module efficiency or increase the module uh, power directly, we, we can't call it a, a technology. I think we should call the large side cell module a product uh, because it's not a directly increase the module efficiency of technology. Uh, why? Uh, there are, uh, I think uh, there are, why this uh, topic is this? Yes, the, about this two or three years, it is very, very hot. And because now uh, the, all the module uh, development already changed from the module efficiency to module power and the, the, the LCOE. Even the cell itself, uh, the, to increase the cell size, will not uh, directly increase the cell efficiency, but will, it will give an advantage to the module power. And we can see that uh, from the 400 watt uh, module power and the 500 watt uh, module power is uh, leading by the si wafer size and the module size increase. And we can see there are a lot of uh, wafer size such as 125, 166, 180, and the two, 210. All these wave sets, and we can see it is becoming bigger and bigger. And we can see, we will see next page to why it's the way that becomes so, so bigger. Okay, next page. Next page. Okay. Uh, for the uh, for the wafer size, we can see that the wafer size is becoming bigger and bigger because the uh, for one sales in one cell for the wafer side and the cell manufacturer side and also for the module manufacturer side. And we once uh, manufacture, uh, we can uh, output more uh, power, which means the high uh, for big cell uh, wafers, uh, big wafers, we can, which can bring uh, the high power flexibility density to once manufacturing, which will uh, bring the total cost of the manufacturing to be lower. That's why they allow the it become the wave itself become bigger become 120 180 and uh, 210 uh, but uh, but uh, we, uh, someone may say that if we win, uh, add more cells to the module uh, the module can also become bigger but uh, the that uh, technology will can increase the module power but it can't decrease uh, can't increase the high power flexibility density of the manufacture manufacturing and uh, if we directly add in the uh, cell number, the uh, module VOC will be increased also. That two uh, weak point will cause the uh, only adding cell 
and quantity is not a good taking solution. Okay, next page. And here we can, at the uh, next talk, uh, we give some of, of the most pop popular uh, uh, modules in, inside of the market. This is just to show some example uh, because everyone, every manufacturer's module size is a little different, but we can see the uh, average is around that. We can see that the, the power is uh, from 400 to uh, 500, there are several products. And uh, why there are so many uh, wafer size and why there are so many module size? Because all this module size and the wafer size is limited by a lot of factors. And um, I think uh, before two years, most of the, our manufacturer and even the market, we didn't focus on the, uh, what's the limit of the module size and the wafer size. We just manufacture by equipment, which one is easy to manufacture. Uh, but now we come to the final uh, focus on the LCOE. We come to the limitation of the uh, wafer size and the um, module size. Uh, all the modules, module size is uh, now the module size is limited by the module material uh, supply and also the transportation and the installation. From all this limitation, we can uh, conclude about the module size. That one limited, limited module size at the future will, will be the final module size. And uh, but also one, uh, if we have the module limitation module size, we will we can get a lot of uh, wafer size. Uh, at the right bottom, we can see there are several several electrical circuit. Uh, design of the module. The typical module design is, uh, we can say, in the market. There are the top. The typical one is a six-string uh, design of the module. But uh, as uh, as you can see now, uh, our Titan uh, 500 module, uh, there are five-string uh, design. Uh, forms the different uh, 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 electrical circuit design. We can uh, calculate the cell size, and then we uh, by the module size, sales size, and the electric design, we can have the final uh, product design. That is uh, how we develop the module product. Uh, but uh, as you, you can see, but not all, everyone have the final, uh, have the same idea how the module limit and the sales limit. So we can estimate that uh, about two or three years, there are a lot of cures of the uh, module size and the wafer size in the market. They will, but you need, need uh, uh, some time to to come to the same one. Okay, next page. Uh, for the uh, now, I will give some introduction of our uh, big size, big wafer size module product, in, which called we, we call it Titan. Uh, there are two uh, generation. One is the generation five. This is the way allow already manufacturing, and the next one will be the generation six. Is uh, which means the power over six hundred. Okay, next page. Uh, for the first product, the Titan Gen uh, Generation 5, which means the power and uh, module power is uh, 500. And this product is the first uh, uh, module uh, product in the market which uh, power over 500, and which uh, Ryzen launched at uh, last year, and the law is already in mass production. And the shipment is uh, from the uh, March of this year, and now much better in China. The, we can see the power now is uh, from the uh, 480 light to uh, 510, uh, and including the monofacial and the bifacial uh, module are supplied. Next page. The, the typical one of the uh, Generation 5 uh, Titan product is uh, the biggest, biggest difference is the 5 string. And we, we can, everyone knows that most of the module is six string, but uh, Titan 5, generation 5 is the five string. This is the biggest uh, difference from other product. Next page. Uh, for the, for the uh, generation 5 uh, uh, Titan products, uh, why we, manu uh, we do this product uh, at the last year? Because it's very easy to uh, manufacture and it's the compatibility of, to the system part is uh, is very good. All the central inverter and the string inverter, and the compa compatibility to the now all the all mature and the easy to uh, manufacture and the installation. So we uh, is already in mass production, and we will see the next page why we developed the generation six. Okay, next page. 
uh, I, uh, I give this page, uh, pages to show uh, everyone that uh, even we have we are manufacturing the uh, generation 5 titan products but uh, we can say it's not the best one uh, we from this column uh, the uh, we can say the uh, titan generation 5 is the uh, triple cut the power is uh, 505 and uh, uh, even it's, it's very easy to manufacture but uh, it has a weak point and compared to there, there, there are several design of the uh, the same cell and the same same module there are several design why we choose the 505 last year because it's easy, easy to manufacture but uh, compared to the half cut uh, the second uh, column the four line line module design it's the half cut and the we can see the uh, VOC is 34 and the ISC is uh, 18. This one is very different with the triple cut one. It uh, has a, a lot of advantage meant with the VOC. We will show you why we say this product is the best one. Uh, because, uh, but, but this product even is very, very good. We already see the, uh, or have the design last year, but we are developing the uh, high current junking box and the high current inverter together with our supplier this year and now all the junking box and the inverters uh, are exist in the market that's why we are going to the next generation of the generation 6 in this year we will launch a new product with the half cut cell the high power module okay next page uh, as, uh, as, as the pre previous page that we see that VOC is a very important factor for the module and uh, especially for the system <laughs> because uh, the VOC is related with the B BOS cost this uh, uh, as you can see there is a cap uh, if we increase the uh, if we decrease the mo modules VOC the module the total systems BOS cost will be decreased this cap is just showing the BOS cost of the fixed mounting system if the system is a tracking system the big the difference for, for the uh, high VOC and the low VOC will, will be uh, enlarged very big big so for the the low VOC module will be very important for the tracking system um, PV system and the, we just show two typical products one is 1825 400 545 watt product another one is Titan 600 module the VOC is different which cause the module BOS cost is different. This is one point. Okay, next page. Uh, this is this is another page we show you that uh, module power is very important to the BOS cost. Uh, as, as everyone can, everyone knows that module power increase and the module uh, the system PV system BOS cost will be decreased. But uh, not uh, this this rule is not always the uh, correct. If uh, because the VOC acts, acts uh, as an uh, important factor inside, uh, you, we can see you, you can see that uh, some point is not uh, in the same trend. That is the cost by the VOC. Just the one is to uh, five to five watt, and the other one is two hundred five to uh, five watt. The two two module is with the same power, but the uh, if the uh, uh, two 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 ten millimeter wafers with the five to five watt, the module VOC is lower, and then the VBOS cost cost will be much lower compared with uh, a lot of high power uh, high VOC module. Okay, next page. And that is why we developed the generation six Titan products. Uh, now uh, these products uh, that we already de designed and in certification. And uh, the G, we, the G, G6 means the power module power power over uh, 600. There are two uh, modules. One is the uh, the first one is five uh, is 600. Another one is 660 watt. Uh, these two modules, we can see the biggest difference in uh, factors we need to focus is one is the module power is very high. Another one is the VOC very low. Uh, for the normal modules now in the market is uh, the module VOC is uh, around 50 and uh, now uh, our generation 6 the module VOC is only around 40. This will uh, uh, benefit a lot to the modules to the PV systems BOS cost and the total system cost. Uh, 
and the, but the, the weak point is the IC, the IC, IC current is higher. Uh, that's why we need one year to develop the junction box and the uh, uh, inverter. Okay, next page. Uh, for the generation six uh, module, uh, we will come back to the six string design. This is the difference with the generation five uh, Titan module. Next page. Uh, for the uh, technology inside of the Titan, uh, the big, uh, there is a the MPB is a very important one. And we can we can see that for the this is the simulation cap of the uh, how many MPB should be used for the uh, different technology for our uh, triple cut and the half cut uh, modules, which means GNU5 and GNU5 six. The with uh, the so number uh, bus bar number is different. Uh, if we have use a uh, uh, more half cut, the bus bar will be increased. Next page. Uh, for the MBB technology, I think everyone uh, already already knows that uh, there are a lot of advantage of the MBB to inc to reduce the RS and uh, to increase module power and also which have the high uh, uh, re redundancy of the micro cracking uh, of the cell, uh, so we to increase the module reliability. Next page. Uh, another one technology we, which used in the Titan product is the non-destructive cutting. For the normal, the upside, uh, uh, the first one, the image is the normal laser cutting. The bottom one is the uh, damage-free laser cutting. We can see the picture is very different from each other. This is uh, we need, because the, the wafer size is bigger. We need to use damage-free laser cutting to keep the wafer to more strong, and uh, we can allow our manufacturing the production yield is also very high, even compared with the normal product in, in the market. Next page. Uh, so for the generation six uh, product of the uh, Titan, that for the central inverter compatibility, uh, I, we can say that it's very. Uh, and because it's the uh, central inverter, it's, uh, the compatibility is not an issue. We just need to change the uh, bus box fuse and the inverter DC fuse, uh, which can directly use for such PV system. It's not an issue. Okay, next page. And but for the string inverter uh, uh, PV system, uh, for the now most of the uh, PV uh, the system string inverter uh, is uh, the current is only 26. And uh, but uh, if we use, want to use the uh, uh, G6 Titan module, we need to use new string inverter. And uh, for the new string inverter, the current of CT MPPT is increased from 26 to 60. Uh, now this such product is uh, is mature in, in the market. Both Sangro, Huawei SMA, and the Jin Jinlong, they already have such solution uh, in, in the end of this year, and uh, we use. It's where it will be matched, which means in the end of this year, uh, for the string inverter, it, it will that, that will be no no problem for G6 products. Next page. And uh, also for the uh, Titan 600 watt module, uh, the string inverter compatibility of another uh, is the volume ratio for such modules with the uh, uh, the new designed uh, string inverter. The Volume ratio can also be designed very high. Uh, for the 600 watt, it can be reached 1.58, and uh, for the 660 modules, the volume ratio can be 1.74. Next page. And uh, we also do some uh, real power plant uh, power generation of uh, of our Titan module. The, the right one is uh, to have two columns. The blue one is the uh, real um, power generation, and the, the right one, the, the yellow one is the uh, simulation one. And we have, well, because our Titan module is uh, um, manufactured mass production from the uh, March of this year, and uh, we install some of the test plant in our in China. And uh, the power generation of the batch by fission module compared with the model fission module, the real power uh, generation is. Uh, uh, 11 point uh, higher. Okay, next page. 
Okay, then here we come to the most important one of the economic analysis of the uh, Titan G6 products. Uh, there is a uh, uh, column of there is some some there are about six six products comparison between each other. We use the one one five six point seven five products and four hundred and ten watt module as a baseline, and we compare the uh, four forty five five. Um, 535 uh, 182 mm wave and also our uh, Titan J5, Titan uh, J6 two products. Uh, each of the module, uh, the module cost and the BUS cost and the total system cost uh, of each other. This uh, we can see that the uh, the uh, baseline product 156.75 products the the BUS cost and the total system cost is a uh, poorest one because the module power is lower. And uh, we can see that another one is the uh, Titan G6, the module BUS cost and uh, the total system cost is, is much better compared with the uh, normal uh, 445 and the 535 products. This is only the fixed uh, mounting system. We can see the uh, total system cost uh, is uh, for the 660 uh, products is about 3% uh, uh, compared with the 182, 535 watt products and the Titan G6. This, is, this gap is only 3 points and we can see the better uh, advantage of for the checking system of the next page. Okay, please turn to the next page. Uh, okay, this is the checking system. Uh, I want to show you that this, this one is very important for the low VOC products. Uh, for the tracking system, we can see the number difference is very big. Uh, for especially for the G6, the Titan G6, uh, and two products, one is 600, another one is 660 products. We can see that the uh, difference gap between the three five five thirty five watts and the 660 watt new two products, the difference of the total system cost is about five uh, over five percent. This over 5% uh, total system cost is about 2.8 cent per watt difference uh, caused by the module and the BUS cost. You can, you can also see the BUS cost is about uh, uh, over four point difference between the BUS. This is the most difference. BUS get, uh, gain is high, much high. That's why we um, now uh, the, we, we see that Titan G6 is our future and future products. Okay, next page. Okay, next uh, uh, here we come to the final um, two page and uh, is the high power product roadmap. Okay, next page. Uh, the first one is uh, we can see the product uh, PV module productive development of this year. We can see there are a lot of technology and a lot, lot of product uh, in this year. In the, uh, about five years ago, uh, we uh, we have uh, developed a lot of new new products, all focused on the technology and the product function itself, like the dual glass one 1500 uh, module. All this is function different, and the, the MBB and the, uh, the half cell, all this is technology different. And then come to the beneficial. This is focused on the LCOE, and then then from the two uh, 2018, we the big sales module come to market and then the module power from the 400 500 uh, and then now next year will be will come to the 600 module will be very popular in the market market and uh, for this year our uh, titan is the, start, the first one in market uh, mass production the 500 watt module and uh, i think in the next year uh, our 600 module watt will be the market um, soon and then in the future uh, except the wafer size, the uh, uh, HGT will also be very uh, popular in the future because of its uh, special advantage of the power generation and uh, finally LCOE. I think the in the future, the best LCOE product will be the final product. That's why I give the HGT plus uh, two, 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 20, 210 products will be the final product in the future. Next page. 
Uh, this is a power load map. Uh, as, as everyone knows, uh, but uh, four or five years ago, all our PV uh, modules, the power increase is very slow. From 10 years to five years ago, the each year the module power increase very slow, about five years, five watts each year. And uh, from this year, the power increase from to 20 watt, 40 watt, and then now 100 watt. Uh, but the, the power increase will be slower again in the future because and why this year's the power increase is, is different is so quick because the module size increased this year and that which caused the module power increase very quick. But the module size is limited, as we talked, is limited by the transportation material, something like that. And in the future, two or three years, the module size will be standardized and then module power will be slow again. And so in the future, two or three years, the power increase will be snow again from 20 watt, 10 watt to 5 watt again. And then we, can, we will see that our Titan uh, opens the 0 in 5, uh, 5.0 uh, area. And the uh, next year, we're, we're leading the market of the 6.0 area. And uh, in the future, we will combine the, our uh, generation 6 uh, Titan to the HUT technology. And then we will achieve the, 600, the 700 um, uh, products. And uh, I think finally I will give one word is high, but high power is not a target. LCOE is. High power is uh, only one uh, factor in the LCOE. We, want, we need to, uh, also to uh, consider other very important factors like the VOC and the other uh, important factors for the BOS and the system, total PV system. Uh, so LCOE is uh, the, our key uh, point, not the uh, power. Okay, thank you. This is my order, my presentation. Yun, thank you so much. That was very, very nice um, and very impressive. Um, Maybe a first um, question for me regarding heterojunction, um, because you have been investing in heterojunction, are, um, um, and um, so did I understand you correctly that you think that in 2023 we will be able to have then um, the C700 watt modules um, based on large wafer technology? And HJT, so we will have 200 millimeter wafers for with um, HJT technology. Mm, yes, you are correct. That's my uh, uh, estimation because uh, I think from our lab uh, in next year we will we can achieve such the product, and uh, we will uh, need another year in the two, 20, 22 to uh, transfer the technology to mass production, which means 2023 uh, the 700 module will be mass production because uh, for the module size and the wafer size is limited and, and then the HUT itself I think still need two or two years to be mass production to enlarge because now, as you know now the HUT uh, the module even the module power the cell power is very high but the cost of HUT is also high so but when two years later the total uh, HGT cell cost will be decreased very quickly. That's why we uh, estimated uh, two or three years, the final 700 uh, HGT plus the 210, uh, the wafer um, technology will be mass production. And we can find the technology itself and also we can find the module cost. Um, um, okay, but don't you see any um, uniformity issues with the position um, of um, um, for, for HJT um, on this um, high um, on this high wafers. Uh, I think the, for the uniformity of the HJT cell is uh, better compared with the PEC cell. Now uh, we manufacture the two ten wafers uh, with the PEC. The somebody says that um, you, your wafer size is bigger and the dis diffusion the PCVD something like that may be uniform, but we already. Uh, we already in mass production, we can see that cell efficiency is good. The uniformity is not an issue. And for HGT, 
we can see there is no deficiency in the process. There is only PVP CVD deposition. For the uh, uh, deposition, CVD deposition, the, if we change the paper size to be bigger, exactly the which you were the uniformity is better compared with the pack because the diffusion of the pack uh, for the big cell is much for much more challenge compared with the HGT CVD. So yeah, it's easy for the big cell of the HGT to uh, to be to vapor size to be increased compared with the pack cell increase vapor size. Okay. And, and, and on, on this slide, you also um, referred um, to both um, HJT or TopCon. So are you pursuing both paths or, um, um, or is it, uh, or did you just show um, the next generation of cells? Uh, I show the, I think there are several um, opinions in the market. Some, some of the manufacturer or experts say that TopCon is better, but and, and some other uh, experts say that HGT is better. But from my point, if we only focus on the cell efficiency or module power, maybe TopCan is okay in short years, in two or three years, because the TopCan is easy to manufacture. And it's, we can use the, uh, now the manufacturing equipment and the adding two equipment, and then we can manufacture TopCan cells. It's easy, and the investor is no. But as, as I said, the LCOE is the most important part. HGT has a lot the biggest difference compared with the top can HGT is the power generation. The power generation for the HGT for the same part for the same model power, the power generation of the uh, is about uh, we have a test date about eight point higher for the same model power. There are eight higher eight percent higher power generation, which means the uh, BUS the total system cost will LCOE cost will be lower much. That's why. Now the HGT and uh, LCOE is already com comparable with the PUX uh, and the TopCon. But in the future, uh, when the HGT uh, manufacturing cost decrease, the HGT will be advantage mode can't be will be very good. The TopCon can't compare with that. And uh, TopCon yeah, is but, good, but the LCOE can't. Okay, but then so you as Ryzen. Um, it, it, is, um, it is known that you are going the HJT path, but will you also have TopCon products or is it, um, or did you just mention it in that slide? Um, uh, yeah, uh, uh, we have the HJT um, products and the TopCon products both. As I said, because we HJT needed to set up new lines, all the manufacturing uh, cap capacity, we can't manufacture at HJT, but uh, we can update this capacity from PEC to TopCon, but the future products will be HGT because uh, especially the advantage of the LCOE. So for the new capacity, we'll uh, consider of the HGT. Mm -hmm. And, um, and what, 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 how, how will the high voltage of um, HJT influence um, large modules? Yeah, this also is uh, this is a issue, uh, weak point of the HGT that have uh, VOC will be higher, uh, but uh, for the normal, uh, not the big wafer, uh, for the uh, one five eight uh, wafer size module, the VOC is about around five over five watt, um, watt higher compared with the uh, normal module. Uh, for the large wafers, the uh, the VOC difference can is based on the product design, which the G C G five or G K six uh, is. In related with that, but uh, the you, you you are right. The VOC of the uh, HGT is a weak point, but uh, it can benefit from the power generation. The, that one will compensate about the mm -hmm. VOC weak point. Okay, there there was one comment from um, from one participant who who didn't understand the benefits of five rows of cells inside the G five module. Um, what, what what was the reason for this? Uh, exactly, uh, five strings is not a, a benefit concept. It's the uh, product design concept. Uh, as you know, what we said, I already said that about that. We consider the five string is based on. We have several uh, designs of the Titan when we use the two two ten millimeter cells. We have uh, several designs. Uh, half cut, triple cut, uh, fourth cut, five cut, but but.
but at the last year, we can only choose the triple cut uh, design. We didn't use the half cut because you know, if we use a half cut, even the half cut cell, the module is much better. But we don't have junking box, high current junking box. We don't have, have high current string inverter. So we last year we choose the triple cut with five string um, uh, of the module to be five string. If we use triple cut with five string, um, the, we can control the uh, VOC and the IC in the same level. But if we use the triple cut with uh, six string, the VOC will be much higher. We can't choose such, such module design. That's why last year we chose uh, five string plus uh, triple cut to 10 cell. This is based on the uh, module power and also the VOC and also the material supply. We can only choose that. But this year we already have the material um, supply in the market. And then we will choose the best uh, module design with the uh, six string for two, two 10 millimeter cells. Okay, um, there are um, um, questions also on, on the advanced technolo module technologies you're using. So are, are you using any tiling or paving or is, um, are you using gallium doped wafers? Um, is, is... Yeah, um, tiling technology we are not using because now we, we think that the uh, tiling technology have some weak points because the wafer sales is over each others. So the production yield is nowhere, uh, the yield is nowhere than compared with the uh, narrow gap sales or normal gap sales strings, which means we, we will choose the best uh, cost uh, effective one, which, which is not tiny ribbon technology. Not, you know, also the paving is not a, a good technology. Now we use uh, the, in our uh, Titan technology is narrow cell gap. This is considered of the uh, module power production yield, and also the module efficiency. And so we choose the narrow gap, but not paving or tiny. Mm -hmm. And then gallium doping, there's this trend, a few manufacturers have already added that. Um, do you see advantages or are you also thinking about moving there? Uh, I, I think I can't say that topic because I see uh, gallium, uh, there are some patents. So we can say we have uh, some uh, low degradation Cell technology, but we can't say. <laughs> you can't say that. <laughs> okay, things you understand. <laughs> okay, I understand. Okay. Um, um, what else? Ah, oh, yeah. Can you can you generally say um, what um, um, what your um, roadmap also in terms of um, capacities is? Um, um, where um, are you are you heading? So in terms of expansion, general. For you mean for our totally capacity? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for our uh, Ryzen um, company, now our capacity in, is about uh, 15 gigawatt. And the next year, I think our capacity will be uh, above uh, 20 to, uh, but the total, total capacity, I think we need to see the uh, public uh, release. I think now we can only see over 20 but uh, 20 or 30, I can see exactly. <laughs> well, it's not so much of a difference, right? Um, <laughs> um, okay, is there, um, I think, um, uh, there was one question also, he says G6, 600 watt and 660 watt has different cell size, um, or is it both um, 220 millimeter? Um, yeah, you are correct. I think uh, there, there are some experts inside, they have a calculation about the current and uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is correct. The wafer size is different. Our G6, the 600 and the 660 hundred module, the wafer size is a little different. This is the 660 hundred, uh, the module, the module size and the wafer size all go into the uh, limitation. The G6, the 600 module is not the, uh, the wafer, wafer size is not come to the limitation, but the 660 is the final product. Okay, wonderful. Okay, I think that's a nice secret you told us. We are coming to an end. Um, I think the 
time is over. Uh, thanks so much. That was a very interesting, very technical presentation. I learned a lot. Uh, I think the attendees um, as well. So thanks so much. Have a nice evening.